Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, welcome. My name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I made this cute kind of Billie Eilish inspired press on set. I only used pink Jellock gel polishes for this and just a ton of gems. It's really really easy to do but I saw that beautiful green color by pink Jellock when I unboxed their new collection and I was so in love and I instantly thought of Billie Eilish and because I'm quite a big fan of her music and I think she just has awesome style I really love her um, I was like let's just do a Billie Eilish inspired set but for this video I don't want to be like full-on rambling for 20 minutes long I am going to add a little bit of music in here as well because if you watch the footage or the video it's quite self-explanatory already so yeah but first up I had already measured out my uh, press on tips I just do it on my own nails like the size of my nails or at least the size of press ons that would fit perfectly on my fingers and I just made sure that these are all ready and set and laid out to go so the two colors that i am using are by pink jellock of course and if you would do this on your natural nails don't forget to add a base coat but here you can see i'm actually filing the edges of these kind of like coffin slash ballerina shaped press on nails or false nails however you want to call them they had like a little plastic thingy on there i think that's just something that is like still from how they were in the factory like they just press them out of plastic and mold them and stuff like that so just make sure that those little like hang thingies are completely gone before you go in with making your own press on nails so yeah i'm just going to stick it on my little nail stand with a little bit of poster buddy and for the thumb i am starting off with black so the only two colors that i am using today um, is this beautiful black that is actually the name of this gel polish by pink jellock as well as that super bright green i think that one was called dancing green but you will see that a little later in this video but for the black nails i am going to do those all exactly the same just apply two coats of that black of course curing each layer for a full minute pink jellock all of their gels have to be cured for 60 seconds or otherwise one minute um, i sometimes mess it up because i use a lot of uh, madame glam gel polishes as well and those only have to cure for 30 seconds but yeah just a little heads up if you are going out and get some of the new pink jella collection polishes like gel polishes just make sure that you cure those for a full minute but while that first layer of black was curing i was already like looking at some different gems and embellishments that i wanted to use on my green nails as well as a couple of silver rhinestones or like the clear ones with the silver backings because i did see a set that billy wore herself or she always like wears acrylic nails i of course always work on my own natural nails or press on nails like i'm doing in this design or at least in this video but i saw that she was wearing a full black set like acrylic nail set and on the tips of the nails she had like one silver or clear rhinestone and i thought that looked so cute that i really wanted to do it in this set as well of course uh, next to the green nails that i'm going to place a ton of black rhinestones and some roses on as well but yeah if you are waiting for your press on nails to cure of course if you have like a full minute why not spend it on looking forward already and just grabbing the items that you want to use in the video but once your second layer of black has fully cured for a minute i am going in with the ultra shine top coat this is actually a no wipe top coat and i'm just going to not really lather it on but you don't want to apply a really thin coat either because we are going to adhere that clear rhinestone at the tip of the nail in this so you don't want it to be all like dripping off or anything like that but you just want to apply a decent layer so your rhinestone actually has something to like lay in if you know what i mean um, after you've placed the rhinestone and cured that for a full minute you can go in with an extra layer of top coat and just going around the rhinestone that is what i'm going to be doing for this design as well i'm not planning on really wearing this press on set it's more of like an 
kind of like a design idea that I want to show with you guys but I didn't want to remove my own manicure yet because you guys know that on my left hand I always wear regular nail polishes and on my right hand I actually wear gel polishes but this design was on for I think like a week or something and I didn't feel like switching it up yet so that is why I tend to do like this set on a press on set so yeah I really love doing this though I don't do it that often anymore because I simply don't have enough time but I think it's really cool to do so and you can actually just display them in your nail salon or in your room or anything like that I think it's really cute to have like kind of like a portfolio but all with like false nails or press-on sets that's kind of cool but that was the first nail already again all of the black nails that I'm going to do which are the thumb the pointer as well as the pinky those are going to be exactly the same so you just want to apply two layers of black of course curing each layer for a full minute and then going in with your top coat adding that little gem before curing and then after curing just go around the gem again with a little bit of that top coat i just go over the entire nail but not capping in the um, rhinestones so you don't want to apply any products on top of your gems and rhinestones because that dulls their shine and that is not something that you want happening so yeah just go around the gem one more time and cure that top coat and your nail is fully done I am going to keep on talking through until I am like somewhere halfway through the first green nail. Then I'm going to add a little bit of music because let's be honest, I don't know if you want me to like be talking for like 20 minutes straight and the rest of the video is quite self-explanatory if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm sorry for everyone out there who actually loves me to ramble throughout my videos, but 20 minutes straight, like I don't know what to talk about to be honest. There's actually one last tip that I want to share with you. As you can see here, I'm actually holding the thumbnail press on nail um, like next to the pointer finger one just to make sure that all of the gems or at least the gems on the tips of these black nails are quite like in the same place. Just look down the nail quite a bit as well if you want to place it exactly in the center of the nail. Um, if you don't do that and you feel like it's centered, the chances are quite high that it actually is a little bit off and you will definitely see that once you are actually wearing the nails or if you have placed them on like a little how do you say that like display thingy um, I actually really want to make a video about how I display my press on sets as well so if you want to see me do a video about that let me know in the comments down below but back to the video, this is that beautiful dancing green color that I talked about earlier and actually kind of like raved about in my unboxing and swatch video of that whole festival summer collection by Pink Jellock. Do check it out though because the colors in that collection are really fun, really bright, perfect for spring and summer and actually throughout the entire year if it has anything to do with what I think because I feel like you can wear bright colors all year round and it's actually quite fun to do so um, but yeah I'm just going to apply two layers of this green to the middle finger and the ring finger as well and of course the pinky will be the full black one again and here you can see a couple of the gems that I'm using I actually had this little pot like laying around in my collection um, with a ton of really really small like diamond shaped um like gems and stuff like that and here you can see in that little triangular like platter i don't know how to call that um a couple of different of the gems that i'm going to use and of course i'm going to place them all in a wet layer of that no wipe top coat the ultra shine top coat and I am placing all of the gems and like the little black roses with my crystal picker up tool. This is actually a really affordable knockoff from the Crystal Katana. I think the Crystal Katana is like 20 bucks or something. And the one I got was from, I think I got it at AliExpress from the Born Pretty Store official seller. Um, and it was like 2 euro 50 or something and it's been lasting me forever. I think I've been using this one for about 2 years, maybe even longer and it's still in perfect shape. So yeah, for these two green nails I'm going to place some black roses, some like different sized like full black rhinestones. I really love those. I have no idea where I got those but I got like 
a lot of them <laughs> in a lot of different uh, sizes mostly and then of course I'm going to use the really tiny ones to kind of fill in the gaps and I'm mostly just focusing on placing all of these gems and just rhinestones around the cuticle area and just fading down a little bit um, towards like one side of the nail and I'm going to do the opposite for the other nail so I'm going to do the opposite for the ring finger nail of course you can switch it up if you are going to recreate this design um, on your own natural nails or maybe you want to do a press on set yourself as well if you're feeling creative totally do so it's a lot of fun to make press on designs whether you're going to wear them or or not it's just it's a lot of fun i love doing that whenever i have like an hour of spare time or something like that but yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to stop rambling. I really want to thank you so, so much for watching. And I am already trying to gather up some really nice nail art stuff, like a regular nail polish, but also a gel polish set to actually do a new giveaway once I have reached the 25,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, highly recommend it to do so. I really appreciate it. And welcome to the family if you haven't subscribed yet. And you're doing it right now i really hope you liked watching this video of course keep on watching it isn't done yet it's like a super long video of like 20 minutes but once again thank you for watching i love you so so much stay safe and i hope to see you in one of my next videos